Kimi and Kaiser are out on a hunting training exercise with their aunt Kihara today. The goal is that they learn how to take down their own prey. Soon Kihara spots an antelope in the distance. This grabs the attention of the cubs. Their focus is intense. They can anticipate something is about to happen. Success. Kiara separated a large male blessbuck and is wrestling it to the ground. The cubs instinctively know that the time has come for them to move in and assist in the final process. The sure determination of Kiara is clearly visible. Even though the antelope is trampling her and standing on her, she just will not relent and won't let go. She knows these cubs need to learn what to do. As a very successful hunter, this time Kiara is only holding the antelope down and not going for the kill. She knows the cubs need to learn how to do it for themselves. The cubs now join in, initially helping by holding the rear end of the antelope and trying to pull it to the ground. Kaiser realizes that while the antelope is still standing, it has a chance of breaking free and he desperately tries to bring the hindquarters down. Success! Kimi and Kaiser have brought the antelope down. Still, Kihara has not attempted to kill the antelope, clearly teaching the cubs what to do. Again the antelope regains some strength, but once again the cubs assist by bringing the rear down. Now Kiara still holding the antelope in position without throttling it and allowing the cubs to learn. Kiara, now totally exhausted, decides to leave it in the hands of the cubs. The antelope tries to make a break, but Kiara, using her full body weight tries to knock the antelope over. Kaiser notices this and emerges from underneath Kihara to latch onto the antelope. Holding on with all he has, Kaiser succeeds in putting the antelope down. Using every little bit of strength they have, both Kimi and Kaiser do all they can to pull the antelope down. Now, crucially, Kaiser needs to find the correct throttle hold without releasing his grip. Kimio makes sure the antelope's hind legs are held fast. As Kaiser holds on, he needs to be very careful for those sharp horns. A stab from one of those horns could be fatal. Kimi has already caused considerable damage to the antelope's hind legs. It's this teamwork that makes this hunt such a success. As Kimia starts to get slightly impatient, still scanning the area for potential predators, Kaiser holds on for all he has. He knows that he's got one chance and one chance only. He cannot let go now. So his relentlessness is eventually going to pay off and earn them a very well-deserved meal. And he's done it. Kaiser has found the perfect throttle hold and now this already exhausted cub will have to keep this hold for at least four minutes to ensure the kill. Kimia instinctively stands guard to her brother, looking out for any apex predators that might be approaching.
With the antelope now dead, the cats are completely exhausted and need to rest before eating. Kaiser tries to hide his kill by scraping grass over it. Due to the size of the antelope and the age of the cubs, we assist them by dragging the carcass into the shade, where they can rest and cool down before the feast begins. Kiara will now join the cubs to enjoy a very well-deserved meal. This, as brutal as it may seem, is the perfect training ground for these two cubs. The cubs now share their meal, although still scanning their surrounds, making sure no predators are in the vicinity to either steal their prey or harm them. This is a culmination of many, many months of training them, taking them for walks in the bush with their mom and eventually with Kihara. And it's got to the point where they've eventually made their first kill. We from Running Wild are super proud of them and the work everyone has put in to get it to this point.